ones lived there for years is up to almost sixteen thousand yeah. dollars. The lot's not worth anything the way it is. I don't even think it'd be worth sixteen thousand dollars after. But our health department guy wants it to yeah. squash the lien. I uh, they must be going to condemnation. See. Uh, that's my guess. You know, I don't know. It, oh, it, it, it's a. What kind of lien is it? Is it the taxes? Oh, oh is it their tax lien? It's a tax lien. Yeah. Okay. Because they. Well, I mean, that's done all the time to get rid of problem properties. Is you, but their clerk over there says they can't get rid of. It. Yeah. Because yeah. he said the state board of council will allow it. That's not. But was it on the tax sale? That's what I'm asking. Not the tax sale. It's just a lien on the property. Okay. That's what, because yeah. no one will buy it. Yeah. Either way. Yeah. And that was the health department's concerns, but I don't see why that's the health department's problem. That would be the town of Camden. Well, I don't know. Uh, again, if they're, uh, if they're, if, if they're, if the health department's looking at condemning it, it it'll, it'll become available and saleable, you know, so, but not without. Not, not without a big property tax anymore. Because the council of Camden has found somebody to come in and do it for under, under like half the price of what the other guys were going to do it. Well, so it'd be under fourteen to fifteen thousand dollars to get it down in a property looking nice and hauled off. And then the, I would say the, the town should do it then. You know, looks a lot. You know, I'm not. I, I don't right. know about. The but I'm stuck in the middle of the two yeah. because I live over there. <laughs> yeah. But I understand the mice and the rat issue because I've seen a rat I thought was a possum. <laughs> it was big. <laughs> that's a big rat. <laughs> and, and, and the next door people got children, and that's my concern. The law is usually easier done. Uh, it can be done under the unsafe building code uh, by the town. If it's done by the health department and a problem, it's both the health and an unsafe building. Mm -hmm. It can, it, whichever one has got the money to do it is, is my, uh, would be my recommendation. If the town has the money to do it. What's it? Huh? What's it? Demolish it? Demolish it. Okay. Yeah. Right. But the town yeah. thinks it's the county's responsibility. Well, it's a shared responsibility. Uh, the town has jurisdiction, and and the health department has jurisdiction of that kind of a situation. They both, and there's not one that says there's not a statute that says it has to be, which is the lead agency. Okay. Uh, well, we don't have any money, do we, to pay for demolition like that? I uh, think the, the health, health department, department has some. The health department does. Yes, they do. Well, we used to request it for us, and that went away. It's minimal. Well, it wasn't I'll be glad to follow up with Kevin if, if, if it could help. You know. Well, Kevin was supposed to go to one of their meetings, and he didn't show up. So. Well, that's why I was asking what kind of tax lien, because we, if it's a tax sale. And it didn't I don't sell. think it, I don't think, yeah. And if it didn't sell, then it would go to you and there would be a commissioner's. It, it's to the sale. town itself for sewage and okay. water. But we probably have tax liens against it, don't we? Oh, I don't then know. it's sewer, it's sewer liens then. Mm -hmm. It's not tax. Right. Yeah. Sewer Which would, have they, have they filed the sewer liens on the property? So they would pay it through the taxes? Yes, I think. Well, after the meeting, can you give me the name? We can go look at that. I just know the location. Okay, well, well, we'll figure it out. Those are compromised all the time and, and forgiven, you know, in order to get the property. Because the health department saying no one's going to buy it. Why spend the money for it? But you need to spend the money to make it look better for the time. Yeah. Safety issue. I'm all in favor of a building coming down. I've gone out and looked at it. It's, it's horrible. Terrible. The question is, to me, we probably have property tax liens against it. That's why I kind of like to look. And if it is, if so, it is. Yeah, does it have to go through a tax sale again? Well, if it's already been through tax sale. Right. And it did not sell, then the next step is a certificate sale. But I do not know, and that's where the price can come down. 
but I do not know. I don't know the particulars about it. Right. And Neither then, of us know. Okay. Yeah. We don't know enough to give you the answer. I'm just kind of stuck in the middle of what this guy's yeah. saying, what this guy's saying, yeah. and what that guy's saying. And but if they're going to hear the commissioner and just demolish it. I'm like, well, it's not that easy. But if it's just the tax liens and they haven't, I, I, they I have not seen, my lawn remember Camden bringing over sewer liens. Pardon? I said, I don't remember Camden bringing sewer liens over. So let's let's just double check it, okay? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Jeff Siebert, their clerks, want to tell me that they can't. It's going to be stubborn. Um, <laughs> am I right? No comment. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Well, I know it's just a little kid. Um, <laughs> we have to, I mean, you can't just, the county can't just come in and do it because we have to protect citizens' rights here. Right. I mean, let's suppose both of you guys say, we don't like old Brown anymore. We're going to get him. Let's just demolish his house. <laughs> you know, you can't, we can't do that. We can do that, right, Lord? No, all you got to go through the steps here. Well, see? your house is down next week. We'll know what happened. <laughs> yeah. it, was okay. a, it was a silent vote. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I do have one more thing. All right. I'm sorry, because I don't see Larry Leach out here. And he provided this with me Friday after the agenda went out. And it's a, the Delphi American Legion Post wants to use the courthouse on November 11th, which is a Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, there has been con some confusion. He does not, they're not, the veterans are not exempt from the damage deposit, but they are exempt from the courthouse employees. I don't know we made that motion where so, the veterans legion and the VFW wouldn't have to pay. I thought it was going to be an outside event, and it's he wants to use the rotunda, so it's all okay, on that. Okay, so point. this fifty bucks I've got here is for the damage deposit. Yeah, They'll get that back. Yes. I was asked that down at the VFW too, and I, I couldn't answer it because I wanted to double check with her. Okay, so we. Uh... And the reason about the damage to deposit, it's not just for the veterans. It's for everybody else attending that's not a, vet, a veteran. If there's damage, who, how are you going to decide who did what? So that and it's, it's an insurance thing that we have to have. So. so we have the insurance here. Yep. And we have the application. So I'm ready for a motion. I'll, I'll make a motion to approve of the, is it the Legion? It is yeah. Delphi American Legion Post 75. Oh. And they want to use it on November 11th, which is a Saturday to observe Veterans Day. They're anticipating about 40 people to be there. It was a pretty good thing last year. Okay. But I will say, and I, I got to put my two cents in here, you know me, but to eliminate the courthouse employee, all you're doing is making him get overtime or whatever, and somebody else is paying that, reimbursing us. It gets $15 to come in here to do it um, per hour, but he's not their employee, so. Right. He's just here to make sure yes. if they need things set up, they have to set them up themselves. If he's not, yeah. Right. Not and I recommend we use the part-time employees of uh, the full-time custodian on events for the... Some of that they can't handle. Right. And they the can things that they want done. All they, yeah, but I won't, won't be up to them. It's be up to the individual. They need to bring their own tables and stuff in. And okay, so I, uh, I have a motion and a second. Call for a vote. All in favor of uh, this motion, say aye. 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 Okay. <clears throat> now we have... Uh, Beth, are you ready for move? For me to move no, I'm to? done. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Okay, we have uh, two applicants for Carol Manor. Uh, are they already out there? Yes, and that was to be just, um, what did you call that? Oh, ratifying. A, ratifying. Uh, ratifying the action of who, who did it. So I, I think I signed one. All of them. Well, Steve started it, and then the other two signed them. Okay, to ratify the... Uh, 
approvals of the commission. I can't remember where they I were done it. between the meetings. It's on the back page, I think, wasn't it? Is that where we signed? Second. It's not the white ones. This one's already signed by all three. Right. So that's what we need to ratify the admissions of uh, those one I did persons to the Carroll Manor. You did you that signed. when we all signed it? You, you no. did it between meetings. Right. You didn't do it during you didn't the, do it the last meeting. You need to ratify your action. Okay. So I need but to make a motion to have to ratify to ratify uh, the admissions. applications. Yeah. For the Carroll Manor for both of these. We were signed both of James up. Jenkins and Ellis Ella, Ella. Ella Copper. Yeah. Lauren, you second. Uh, Lauren second. So all in favor say aye. 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 I need to sign one. Huh? I think we've got them both signed. Yeah, I got. I signed the other one. It's the last page of the green, Lauren. Okay. Is there? Uh, we've got about three minutes left here. Anything else to come before the board of commissioners? Yes, ma'am. Since we're talking about family, did they ever decide? Or was it ever uh, established what the daily cost is for the banner? How much it costs us? Yeah, per they, employee. I can't remember if it was a, the commissioner meeting or a council meeting, but it's been asked a couple of times. I, so when you put I everything remember together, that coming for us, but it's a good question. Yeah. I remember it, it was coming something about rate. I think it was in the your meeting. Was it? I yeah, we. I can't you up the rate. We up the rate. We up the rate. What now? Uh, what was it? Forty. It was up by a certain percentage. Is, yeah, we raised it 10 or 11 percent. Was it that high? I think it was 11. 11. Well, I think, I think too, it was 11. Okay. So that then now covers, I guess the question is, for what does it cost to house a person there per day? That I'd have to talk to Jamie because it depends on the person, I guess. I don't know either. That's yeah. the question. It would also, it also would, vary by occupancy. Okay. If we have more people there, it doesn't cost as much per person. But there has to be a cost. There's a cost, yeah. And I don't think we've ever heard what that is. There would have to be a range is what we'd have to have. If we have 10 people there, that's what it costs. If we have 20 people there, that's what it costs. If we have 30 people there, that's what it would cost per person. And that really wouldn't be absolutely accurate. I mean, it would have to be close. It'd be a good estimate. But it seems like that's been asked, and it's never been answered. Okay, we try to get it answered. Okay. Yes. I'm on Carol Manor too. I'm wondering about this group that is together, trying to. They're working. What what the letter said that went to the to the township people, county officials, and Ted Johnson. I assume he's working as the county attorney at that point. What's going on there? What do you mean? What, I mean, the friends of the manor? Is that what you're talking about? I think that's the group. I was trying to remember the actual. It's a group that they put together to help the manor get donations. Um, mm -hmm. They get donations and they use that money to upgrade stuff at the manor or help buy food. It's Okay, but not food. There were no, some very significant just, things just, listed. Yeah, right. very it's significant. Thing that Carol Manor does not receive any money from the friends. Yeah, they just purchase it and they they just, like sponsor the um, oh. matching funds for a grant or right. something like that. But they do not. They do not get any of that money. But I'm not familiar with the letter. I, I am not either. Really. I put it in the newspaper. <laughs> He's got to read no, the comment. I'm sorry. That's right. Uh, but letters went out to uh, all of township people, and some of those people She's sent in me this township se no. in, in the in county. county. And some people no, sent county. me. Some people sent me. I'm sorry. I thought you said elected officials. Too. No, 
Okay. Well, they are elected. Well, I know, but I, yeah. I thought you said township. And in that letter, it was they want the townships to contribute uh, from their budgets for, and they want to do, you, you guys didn't get this letter? I don't recall it. $11,000 rehab of the laundry system. Yeah, they want they want there. they want a, a, they want the a commercial do it. laundry place. They want a commercial kitchen. This is your building, and so I'm wondering what's happening because it just sounds like. Well, they still have to come to us before they do any changes out there. Well, but a letter did not come addressed to you unless they put it in the mailboxes out there. So I will just no. I will say they did not mm -hmm. get it unless or they went or went home. I don't understand why they would be asking townships all over the county to put up money for something. For your building. Our building, and we're not even apprised of it. <laughs> if you guys want, I can scan the letter and email it to you. That okay. would be great. Because I've got it. I do too. Oh, yeah, that's right. You said I appreciate that, Jerry. Well, just send it to me, Debbie, and I'll oh, well. get it to him. Oh, well. Okay. I'll get you that letter. But okay. it, it just seems like, I mean, Ted, are you working with this group? No. You were mentioned. Because they said in it that they, it, they were working with you. Well, sometimes I had to put this we, group in their place not too long ago because they thought they were running. Before or after a meeting, a uh, couple meetings. Ago. We did it before a meeting, and we had one commissioner. He, and I, and she said she had sent me a letter, and I was not invited mm -hmm. but I kept coming back and forth to set up my stuff and she said we should sit to well the letter the letter the letter made it sound like it was a concerted effort and involved county officials she said count it said county officials and Ted Johnson well if we did have that one meeting and you walked in on that I mean, you came in okay. when they were talking, remember? Uh -huh. She was sitting over here. Um, but, but it was nothing. I mean, she just wanted to know how things worked. But I do understand she wants to have another meeting, which I don't understand why. But so y'all don't know anything about it? Not really. What I know is, well, I've talked to Teresa a few times, but my feeling is they want to help with what's in the needs there to see it survive. That's right. our goal. Mm -hmm. They're not looking to run the place. Uh, I'm not saying that, but it, you know, when they start putting in a commercial kitchen into your building, I mean, that's a taxpayer thing. Uh, that that has implications, and a commercial laundry, you know, they want to they want new furniture and and stuff like that. And yeah, anybody can buy furniture and hand it out, I guess. But it just sounded like something was was kind of cooking. And nobody knew about it. And you know, we are already inspected under the under the Board of Health rules for a commercial kitchen mm -hmm. right there now. Mm -hmm. we, I think they just want to update the equipment, like in the laundry well, room. Well, but the thing about the donations, I had a phone call wanting to know that if the friends, faithful friends of the Carroll Manor, bought food would they get reimbursed? And I told them that they had to talk to Jamie out because she's in charge of signing the claim or whatever. But they didn't want to buy it unless they got reimbursed. So, Faithful friends? So tell me that they really are, I, I don't know, I'm just saying, yes, the Faithful yeah. friends. Okay. So I know the VFW is really taking up a collection to help she said facility. they were out of food, so I called out there, and they are not out of food. She never has been. And she's never, ever been out of food. So I don't know why all this, I, <coughs> I'm well, get myself in a pickle, but I don't understand why this is going around. I think that they want to have a walk-in freezer out there. I think that's part of the letter. And, you know, I'm going... Who, who maintains that? You know, is that going to be up to the manor to maintain after when it breaks down? I mean, you know, sooner or later something's going to break down. Um, and it just sounded like something that ought to be discussed in a public meeting. That's kind of where I'm going. Should be. Well, even that meeting we had, Jamie was not here, correct? 
She came late. She came late. She couldn't get but to it. My thing is, she is the main person that needs to be involved with your yeah. approval. And she knows that. I mean, she knows that. And she knows that. Yeah. So there, there's nothing, you know, that nobody can buy something and put it in a public building without coming through, through the Board of Commissioners. Somebody probably ought to tell them that. <laughs> they know that. It, it kind of sounded like from the letter, yeah. now, you know, it was just written, and I did, I put it, I put it in the paper, I, I wrote a story about it, so that everybody would know um, what's being proposed. But it really hasn't been proposed. If we There's, they they sent a letter to the. Well, well, I understand like that. Yeah, I understand that. But but it yeah. wasn't proposed to them. Not them. I was going to say. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. To speak okay. to the walk-in freezer. That is something I have had a lot of experience with over the last fifty years. <laughs> uh, walk-in freezers are terribly expensive to maintain. Much well, and, more than a cooler. And, and how's about you know the electricity to run? I mean, it's just it's just stuff that. Here's right. that I can't. Yeah. What'd you say? If we're talking about the same letter, and I don't know that we are. I'm sure we. Are. Yeah. Um. It does not seem like there's a very good handle. Again, and I go back to I've asked this question many times. It says something about independent living facility. But. If what I am interpreting in this letter is correct, they're asking the taxpayers to pay all the fees for the laundry and for the staff to do the laundry. Well, that's not really an independent facility. If these folks have family here, that's who should be doing their laundry. You know, we pay assisted living for my mother-in-law. And you pay for that service. And now this is kind of being expected that the taxpayers are going to pay all these services when many of us are already paying them for our own families. So I just think you need to get a better handle on it. We operate under the guidelines, the way I understand it, that were set up a long time ago for county homes. We, it, it is a county home facility. Service. Right, but I have asked repeatedly and Ted never answered this. He said he does not have to meet state requirements. That's because it's a county because home. Because we're a county home. But again, no statute was cited. And are you independent or are you insisted living Ted or are you cited, a home or are you a boarding house? Ted has cited to us the county That's home a, statute. Yeah, we need to. But then there are, and correct me if I'm wrong here, Ted, but weren't there inspections? that each of these three have to, to go out there every three months or something. I'm not going to go through this whole again. I know. Yeah, we ain't got time. We, we need to adjourn because we got a 11 o'clock meeting. Have a 11 o'clock meeting. Okay. I would entertain a motion for adjournment. Motion to so, adjourn. So you aren't going to discuss this? All in favor? Aye. 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 We are adjourned. Thank you. Let's get the letter and I'll give it to him and then I'll look into it. Okay. Huh? What you give me the?